Hi, and welcome to my channel, Senior Shape. I've got a great strength training workout for you today. We'll start with a little bit of a warm up just to get those joints lubricated. I'm gonna be using eight pound weights today. If this is the first time working out with me and you're not used to heavier weight, then go ahead and please use lighter weights, maybe something like two or three pounds and work your way up. Um, again, this is strength training. We are working on some building muscles, great for osteoporosis um, and that bone density and preventing bone loss. So we're gonna start standing positions, doing a lot of compound movements, right? A lot of combinations, working different areas of the body all at once. It's gonna work the brain as well. We're gonna finish the workout on our mat, working on our chest, a little bit more of the triceps and some abdominals as well, finishing with some great stretching. Let's go ahead and get started. With our warm up. feet are gonna be underneath our shoulders. Put those fingertips on top of the shoulders, tummy and shoulders down and back, and let's give them some big circles here. Give me four more to the back. And reverse it to the front. We're standing nice and tall, checking our posture. Keep our core engaged the entire time. And a few more back again for four, three, two, and one. Toes are facing forward. Sit those hips back into a little squat here. Reach the arms forward towards me and then pull up. Again, sit back with those hips and lift up, squat and lift, squat and lift. Hold that squat here. I want you to drop the hands on top of the thighs and then round that back up one vertebrae at a time. That feels really good. Let's do that again. Squat back. You'll be happy to know there are no squats in this workout. I know you guys don't always like them. They're great for us, but we're not doing any with the weights today. And no traditional front and back lunges either. I'm gonna sneak in a couple side lunges and some curtsy lunges that tend to feel better on our knees. Last time, tummy in, and let's roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Again, finishing with those shoulders. Take the arms out to the side. I want you to pull them towards me, rounding the back, and then open it up and stretch the chest. Again, forward and back. Forward and back. Really stretch the arms long. Last time. Hands on the hips and a little step touch here, bending the knees. So a little baby squat. Tap the toe. Let's add our arms. Big reach overhead. So same arm is reaching, I'm tapping the toe with. All right, good. We're going to keep the same movement, but I want you to twist to the side. So come down, twist all the way over. Good. A few more here. And this is a little preview here of our first move. Give me three, twist, last one. Okay, time to grab your weights. Always remember to bend at the knees, grabbing those weights, not at the hips. Okay, feet are wide underneath our hips. Maybe a little bit wider, like shoulders. Like I said, that was a little preview, that last warm up move. Like I said, a little baby squat, not a full squat. And then we're gonna reach over and stretch up, pressing that weight overhead. Other side, little baby squat, reach and press. Come back down. Hips come back and press. Movements like this, these compound movements when we're working different things at once are perfect for our everyday activities and life. Think about getting out of a car. You've got to use your legs and push up and twist to exit a vehicle. Really important to practice all those everyday movements. If you are totally new to weight training, Maybe even just start with just a squat or just pressing that weight up. 
until you can progress and feel a little bit more comfortable. We've got three more. Twist and press. Two. Twist and press. Last one. Twist and press. Nice job. Let's burn up those biceps and shoulders a little bit more. Palms come towards me. Bicep curl, then swip, switch the palms towards me, and then press it up. Switch back. Lower the weights with control. Squeeze it up. Switch and press up. Palms in. Lower down. Squeeze it up. Push and down. Push and down. We've got four more. First three. Slow and controlled. Last one, guys. Squeeze it up and press and lower down. Shake it out if you need to. Taking your right leg, we're gonna have it come cross behind your left leg with a slight forward hinge. So a little curtsy lunge back here. I want you to put a lot of that weight, most of it in that front leg, and then come back up and tap that toe. We can just hold the weights here at your sides or up here. So we lunge it back, keeping a nice proud chest. So I'm not rounding my spine at all. Nice proud chest up. Step back and tap. Step back and tap. Again, you can make it really small, just right here if you'd like to. And work your way to a deeper lunge. Just two more this side. You got it. Hold this last one down. Proud chest, bring those weights in front. Give me some flies here. Both weights come out to the side. Squeezing that upper back. So important for our posture muscles. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Come back up to standing. Same thing, other side. Left leg crosses behind the right. We come down. Push up out of that right leg and push. You should be feeling it in the thighs and your glutes. Down and tap. No rounding of the spine. Keep it nice and tall. And push, good. We've got four. Three. Keep breathing with me, guys, the whole time. The worst thing you can do is hold your breath. We hold this last one here. Another set of flies, here we go. Palms face each other. Squeeze that upper back. Your gaze is just a foot or two in front of you. Four, three, two, last one. Beautiful job, shake it out. Next, we're coming to a little modified staggered deadlift here. So I want you to put your left leg slightly in front of your right. You're up on that back toe. If you want to be a little more stable, if you don't have good balance, you can step it out a little bit further or to challenge yourself, come a little bit closer in. Both knees have a teeny little bend to them. Weight is going to come on the outside of that leg. Again, proud chest hinging at the hips. We're going to come down here. Bring it back up using the strength of the leg and then give me a double hammer curl. If you want, you can just use one weight here and drop the other one. If you are using just one weight, then I'd want you to use just in the left. So same side as leg. Good. Forward, push out of that front leg. Bicep curl. Again, you do you. Maybe you're not going down as far. Totally okay. As long as you're feeling it. And that hamstring 
and the glute. And left, we've got two more. Down and left. Bend down and left. Beautiful work, let's switch it to the other side. Back leg comes back on that toe. If your balance again is off, then give yourself a little bit more width here. Here we go, proud chest, hinge forward. Think about like you're leaning forward to tie your shoe. Bicep curl. And down. Again, that standing leg has a teeny little bend in it. Bend down. And curl. Nice work, guys. We build on that strength. We feel better. The stronger we are, we can do more. And you have a lot less chance of injury as we get older. So important to build that muscle, reducing the bone loss. And it burns a heck of a lot more calories than body fat does. Good. Bicep curl. Two more. Forward, remember proud chest, shoulders down and back. Squeeze. Last one, down. And squeeze. Shake those legs out. We're gonna give the legs a break just for a minute. Keeping a nice wide stance, toes in front of us. Palms are facing you. We're gonna do an upright row here, keeping them close to the chest. Elbows come out to the side, and then we lower down. Combination, your left arm is gonna come front, your right arm is gonna come to the side, and lower down, back to that upright row. And then we're gonna switch it. Right arm comes forward, left arm goes side and lower down, nice and slow and controlled. That was one, we've got eight. Row at center, and left. Row, and left. I know you're feeling it now in those arms. Anytime we have a longer extension or a longer lever, really makes the weights feel heavier. We've gotta work a little bit harder. Center and side. We go center. Keep breathing, guys. You're doing awesome. So good. Modify these weights at any time. Again, always start a little bit lighter or drop them if you need to, and then we can finish the set. We've got two more. Center. Reach it side in front, center, side in front. Last one, woo! And center, side in front, great little combo there. Roll those shoulders, shake it out. Bring the feet a little closer together. We're gonna give the arms a break now and do some calf raises. Check your posture, standing nice and tall, tummy in. Find your center for balance. We're gonna lift up onto our tippy toes and slowly lower down. We lift and lower. Calf work is especially important for our balance. Really good for the health and strength of our knees as well. One of those muscles that supports those knee joints and ligaments. Lift and lower, just four more. You can always hold on to a chair or a wall if you need to as well for balance. Last two. Last one. Beautiful job. I'm gonna put down one weight for our last few exercises. Coming to a nice wide stance. I have the weight in the left hand. Toes are facing out to the corners. Getting a little bit wider. Nice proud chest. Other hand on the hip. I want you to lunge here and then as we come up give me another bicep curl so your left leg stays completely straight we come down bicep curl let's twist it in bicep curl lunge proud chest so think about maybe keeping your chin up 
right here instead of dropping it down. Good. Four more. Pushing out of that heel. So again, we're using those thighs and glutes. Push. Squeeze. Last one. Lunge side. Bicep curl. Let's switch it to the other side. So change that weight. Other hand on the hip. Check your posture. Lunge it side. Bicep curl. God, I know I said it a thousand times, guys, but super important on your form here, keeping that chest high. If we round our back, then you're going to shift that weight into the lower back. And we don't want the lower back doing the work. So we're keeping our core engaged, our spine neutral, and our chest proud and forward to keep it out of our lower back. And squeeze. Two. Squeeze. And squeeze. Nice job taking that weight. We're going to cradle it in both hands. Let's toe heel in just a little bit. We're going to do a wood chop move coming from the high corner to the low corner. So coming up, taking this toe out to the side. We're going to reach way up here to the corner. Then we're going to bend those knees and take it down here to the outside of that thigh. We reach it up, come onto that toe, swing it down. I want you to feel this in your core as well. So we're working everything here. We've got our shoulders, our core, and our legs. And we're breathing. A lot to remember. I know. Lift, twist it down. First three, two, last one. Beautiful job. Let's take it to the other side. Coming up onto that right toe, weight way up high. Swing it down to the outside of that thigh. Push it up. Tommy's in. Again, you should really be feeling this in the core as well. You're tightening that tummy. Down and left for four. Three, two, reach it high, last one, and come on down, nice work. Last exercise before we move to our mat, I'm going to pick up the other weight. You can choose one or two. We're having a staggered stance here and doing some rows, so I want you to come up on that back foot. And then we're gonna hinge forward. Really important that our belly button is drawn in. Weights are here, and then we're gonna pull those elbows back to our side, squeezing that upper back. So we reach, pull it back, reach, and pull. Now, if you're just doing one weight, then you want to hold the weight like this in both hands. Good. Reach, pull, reach. Pull it back again. Proud chest. You're going to feel this in that front leg, holding all that weight for us because we're hinged forward. And then we're using those elbows, getting nice and high to squeeze the upper back. Three, two, and one. Shake it out. Let's switch sides. Other leg comes forward. Come up onto that toe. Tummy in. Hinge forward, here we go. Reach, pull it back, reach, and pull. So think about getting the weights or the hands up to the hip. And think about the upper back. You're squeezing those muscles together right down the center of your spine. Almost there, four, three, Two, last one, squeeze, 
release it. Bring those feet together. Bending both knees to put your weights down. Grab a drink of water, super important to stay hydrated. And uh, grab your mat or a nice cushy rug and I'll meet you on the floor. Okay, we're down on the floor or on our mats. One weight on each side. Pull that tummy in. We're gonna lower ourselves back down on the mat, all the way down on our backs. Get comfy here, bend the knees, feet are on the mat. And then I want you to make sure that your lower back is pressed into the mat, keeping our core engaged here. Not so much like we're doing the abdominals, though we will, but just so we're in a nice neutral spine for our work. One weight in each hand. We're gonna start with a chest press. So bend the elbows at 90 degree angles, taking the arms out to the side. Push it straight up and then drop them back down. Mind where the muscle is here, guys. Think about squeezing the chest here. Push it up, lower it down. This muscle's a lot stronger than you would think. Maybe you even have a couple different sizes of dumbbells that you wanna try out and use here. We've got five. Push. Three. Two. Hold this last one up. Turn the palms forward, keeping a slight bend in the elbows. We're gonna take those arms all the way out to the sides and then squeeze them together. Out and squeeze. And squeeze. This is really good for that inner armpit fat area as well as the chest. And squeeze for four, three, slow and controlled, two, and one. Put those weights together. Then I want you to drop them down towards your navel bending those elbows, and then push it straight up. You're gonna feel this again in your shoulders. I really like it for the triceps. Straight down towards that belly button and push it back up. Exhale on the exertion, guys. Inhale down, exhale up. And down, push it up. Two more. Last one, now we've got a little combination here, guys. One of those chest squeezes, out, squeeze it in, then drop the elbows and push it up. Let's do that again. Out, squeeze together, drop the elbows and push it up. That should be getting nice and warm now. Getting those muscles fired up. Drop and lift. Can we do four more? Squeeze, lower and left. Last two. Last one, guys, and we're gonna move into some abdominals. Lower. Push it straight up, nice work. All right, if you're using the weights, we're just gonna use one, but weights are totally optional for the abdominals here. So we're gonna hold the weight in right hand, so whichever leg is closest to me, right hand, right leg, or your left, and it's going up in the air. So same arm as leg, wherever you're at, and then reach that dumbbell up. Let's support our head with the other hand. Elbow is wide out to the side. We're gonna curl up our head, neck, and shoulders and reach that dumbbell up as we curl and then lower back down. Belly button is pulled into the spine here. So we're really activating those muscles correctly. We never wanna push the abdominals out. That would create bulk and is not activating the transverse abdominus, those muscles underneath that serve as the body's natural girdle, if you will, or corset, we lift. And lower three more, guys. Straight up. 
two. Last one. Let's put that leg down and switch sides. Other leg up, same arm, supporting that head with the opposite elbow nice and wide. Here we go. Lift and lower. Really slow and controlled. You can always drop that weight to the side if you need to. Belly button pulled in, even tighter. Can you get a little bit higher? One more inch, lift and lower, just two more. Nice work. All right guys, last exercise before we get to stretch. Both legs go up. Weight, again, optional in both hands if you're using it. Elbows are mostly straight. We're gonna take that weight all the way up back behind our head. Pull it forward, and then you guessed it, reaching up towards those toes. Relax the head, neck, and shoulders. Here we go. Take it back, pull it forward, lift, and lower. Reach back. Okay, this is a great one for the triceps, the back of the arms, and around the underarms. Lift and lower. So good, guys. You can do it. We're almost there. For three. Last two. You are so strong. Here we go. Lift and lower. Let's relax those feet. Put them down and put your weight off to the side and we get to stretch. Feet are flat on the mat. Put your hands down at the sides. And just to stretch a little bit for our hip flexors, I want you to lift those glutes up off the mat, pressing the hip towards the ceiling. Deep breath. Hold that glute bridge here. Again, inhale. As we exhale, I want you to roll it down. One vertebrae at a time. Nice work. Take one leg up, hold it behind you, and then gently pull it towards you, feeling a beautiful stretch in the hamstrings and the back of the leg. While we're here, give me some ankle circles. And reverse. Now take that knee, bend it, crossing the ankle on top of the thigh, allowing the hip to open up to the side. Go ahead and lift up the other leg, holding it behind the thigh and bringing the knees towards you. This is my favorite stretch, the figure four. Great for the hips, the glutes, and the lower back. Hold that stretch there. Go ahead and take that top leg and cross it all the way over the other, like you're sitting cross-legged. Switch that grip to your shins if you can reach them. And again, give those knees a little hug in towards your chest. And then keeping the legs crossed, let them fall all the way to the side. And then we're gonna take our arms and reach off the, towards the other side. Really relax into the stretch. Give me a big deep breath in. Breath in. And out. Let's bring those arms back to center. Knees back to center. And untwist. Let's do the other side. Leg comes up. Gently grab it behind you. And hug that leg in. Keeping a little tension there behind the leg. Give you some ankle circles. And reverse. Ankle crosses over the other thigh. Knees come up to the side and hug that in. And also make sure that you're keeping your foot flexed here. That just protects the knee joint. Taking that top leg, crossing it all the way over the other. 
readjust that grip and again give those knees another little hug in if that feels good to you breathe in and out let's drop those knees to the side and arms come to the other side nice deep breath in and out let's come back to center hug both knees in rock and roll around if that feels good to you massaging out that lower back let's drop to the side and then gently and comfortably push your way up sitting nice and tall in a cross-legged position take those arms out to the side right arm bring it in front pull it nice and close to you either above or below the elbow joint and then push that shoulder down go ahead and take your ear over to your shoulder as well head comes back to center arm opens back out and then pull it gently behind us feeling a nice stretch in the front of that shoulder and that deltoid a lot of work on that one today relax it down other arm out to the side. Pull it nice and close in front. Drop a shoulder down. Give it a nice hug in. Feel that beautiful stretch. Let it release. Take the other ear towards the other shoulder. Head comes back to center. Open up that arm. And again, gently pull it back. Back to the side, release it down, take both arms up, big inhale. Crisscross those arms back behind you so fingertips are touching the opposite shoulder. Sitting up nice and tall. Think about pushing the elbows out to the sides. Then give me a little bend over, feeling that all the way down the back of the arm that tricep into the waistline. Come back to center and all the way out down the other side. Back to center, release them down. Push those fingertips towards me. Flex the wrist and straighten your elbows. Keep this position, but let's take it out to the side. Good, shoulders down and back, sitting up nice and tall. Hold that there, palms up to the ceiling as much as you can, and then flip it, palms back, thumbs are down. Good, big deep breath in and out let's go ahead and lean forward clasp those hands behind you if you comfortably can maybe straighten the elbows to stretch that chest release those arms let's do the opposite round the back maybe clasp your fingers together and push them towards me for all that upper back work you guys should be so proud that was a tough workout if it wasn't tough enough, rewind, do it again. Let me know what you guys thought of the video. Thanks for joining me. You are so strong. I'm so proud of you. Give the video a like, subscribe if you have not already. Share with your friends. Helps me grow my business. And we will get stronger together. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.